Don't worry, honey. The doctor will be here soon. Hello. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Let me examine your daughter. Don't you even dare touch my daughter. I don't know how you got your degree, but I won't let you treat my child. You don't get to decide who treats who here, okay? I'm in this place for a reason. Your place is behind the cash register of a cheap fast food point. Call the medical director. We'll deal with this misunderstanding. This is the father I was talking about. I hope you will explain to him who I am. <coughs> yes, Donald. <laughs> Please explain to me what this man is doing in the clinic I'm sponsoring. Mr. McAllister, I beg your pardon. I'm sorry uh, that you met uh, Dr. Fisher in this way. I will make sure that another specialist treats uh, the daughter of our biggest patron. I will appoint uh, Dr. Peters as your physician. Are you kidding me? How is he better than me? Because his skin's color matches the color of his coat. Sam, I think the decision has been made. We have to go. Uh, sorry again, Mr. McAllister. Uh, can, can... Sam, don't be worried. If he wants another physician for his daughter, then I will get another physician. What do you care? Sir, I've seen her test results. This is a serious diagnosis. It could be dangerous. And that clueless Peters, he can even say the difference between blood tests and x-rays. Sam, I'm sorry. But it's better for everybody this way. For everybody but the kid. Wow. Watch where you're going. Hi, Sarah. Did Daddy like to be my doctor, after all? Your dad and I haven't agreed on that yet, but I really want to help you. And this guy over here, is going to help you too. Are you playing something? No, I'm just chatting with my friend. We like to text with smiley faces. Oh, that's funny. Let me examine you and you can respond to me with smiley faces, okay? Okay. Does it hurt? <laughs> How about this one? Yes, very much. That's what I thought. We will treat you, I promise. You're so kind. I'm sorry about my dad. He's just afraid he's gonna lose me, just like my mom. What happened to your mom? She had surgery a year ago, but the doctor didn't save her. And now Daddy is mad at you because you're just like the doctor. I'm very sorry about your mother, but I won't make that mistake. I promise you. I believe you. Let's make a deal. If you feel sore, you can send me some smiley faces, okay? What smiley faces, Dr. Fisher? Uh, any silly one. Maybe this one? <laughs> Great. Can I give you my number? Yeah, of course. Okay, so if you feel sore, just text me, okay? I told you to stay away from my daughter! Mr. McAllister, I took drastic measures, right? But I really know how to help her. Yes, Daddy, it's all right. Get out of here! You okay, honey? Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> Mr. Wright, you paid me? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, 
Mr. McAllister wanted to talk to you. Look, if this is about yesterday, I just... I want to apologize for my behavior. Look, she's my daughter. And I'm so worried because she's all what I have. Yes, I know. So let's put aside the hard feelings and forget about all this. Agreed? Agreed. That's great. <laughs> I'm glad you have found a common Mr. ground. Mr. Wright, we have an emergency <laughs> situation. Some powerful drugs are missing from the warehouse. We're already looking, but we need to check with the, all the doctors. You're needed. Tunnel, this is unacceptable. Don't worry, Mr. McAllister. We'll sort it out then. Let's start with Dr. Fisher. I think I saw him in the warehouse. What? That can't be. He's our best doctor. If you have nothing to hide, you should my research. Well. But. <laughs> you see, it's. Hey, 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 that certainly wasn't me. Sir, tell him. But I found it in your coat. Yes, but... Donald, let's not make a fuss. They could damage the clinic's reputation. I think Dr. Fisher knows he's guilty. And it makes sense for him to leave the hospital. Of his own free will. Sir, I don't care what you do with my position. But the girl, she needs my help. Yeah. I am the best doctor in this hospital. You call yourself the best doctor of the clinic. If you don't leave nicely, I think the police will show you the way out. Okay, Mr. Wright. I will send you a resignation letter. If you hadn't been so stubborn and listened to me before, you could have stayed here. I'd rather be out of a job than take any more of your humiliations. I'm just taking care of my daughter. And no one dares to tell me what to do. I see you are a father too, so I think you can understand me. My daughter is gone. She's gone because of a horrible doctor. Not because of his skin color, but because he was talentless and incompetent. He was fired, but that didn't bring my little girl back. When everything happened, I swore myself I would become a better physician, so no other children would leave this world because Attention. of the doctor. This is an I think you could understand me. My wife... You don't have to explain. What happened? Your daughter told me everything. But that doesn't excuse you. Quickly, get the operation already. Come to me. Attention, this what's, is an What's going on? Your daughter. Oh my God. She's very bad. Mr. McAllister, please forgive me. There must have been a mistake. What have you done? I'll fix it. You're not entering the operation room. Sir, let me do it. I know how to save her. Trust me, please. Where's my daughter? Is she all right? She's fine. She can be discharged the day after tomorrow. Dr. Fisher, I'm so embarrassed. I'm sorry. Would you please come back to the hospital? I'll get you promoted. What would you say? I'm not staying here for a promotion. I'm staying here to treat people. 
Just promise me that from now you will keep an eye on doctor degrees, not on people's skin color. I promise you, Dr. Fisher.